What's going on, people? What's going on? Jada Black here. Of course, I am back with another podcast, as you can say. Uh, shout out to everybody that is here. We got a couple of different topics that I want to speak about. Y'all know the routine. Make sure you like the video. And also comment on each topic that's being discussed. If you look in the description box, it's going to pretty much show you everything that I'm going to be discussing in this particular video. Okay? Now... I will put a link to the playlist of all the different podcasts I've done. Y'all can go and check those out as well, you know. Now, I'm going to get started on the first topic. And it's going to be about IG model Selena Powell. Or IG Thizot, as I like to call him. Apparently, she posted a paternity test and people wanted me to speak on this, but I waited. I wanted to wait until more people wrote about it and more, you know, info came to light, you know, and I'm glad I waited. Okay, because apparently you got a lot of Twitter detectives who actually went and <laughs> they went and researched the, the 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 post that she put up the i believe she put up a video and looking at the documents carefully because of course this 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 crazy female is putting up the documentation and showing people on social media the documentation that she is indeed uh, the mother of Offset's child. She even gave her child Offset's last name. Now that is that is extreme trolling. But you know, if if that's not his kid, or even if she has one, because according to this hard article to Hip Hop DX, I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna link y'all to this article because you need to see this to believe it. You got all these females on Twitter caping for Cardi B, going hard for Cardi B. They are presenting evidence in their tweets that this chick is lying. Okay. Selena Powell literally is putting up documentation. Okay. From the DNA test that she took, that she had taken from, you know, offset on social media and people are dissecting it. Okay. And, and I don't, and this is exactly why you don't do this because people are saying that she's lying about being pregnant. Um, in the article that I was reading, they were saying that she was going out drinking heavy in December when she announced to everybody that she was pregnant with this child. You know, then no sooner after that, she has the kid. Well, a couple months later. Um, so people don't believe her. Okay. Uh, let's see. It says Instagram model Selena Powell alleged she's pregnant with Offset's baby. Something both the Migos rapper and his fiance Cardi B dismissed as extortion last December on Sept uh, September on Saturday, April 28th. Powell reportedly posted and deleted photos of the paternity test results online that prove Offset is the father of her infant daughter. There is 99.99% probability that the obligator is the biological father of the children named in the above reference court case the documents read and she <laughs> whoever this person is this celebrity to they have a full picture of the documentation that selena uh, powell is posting see this is exactly why Women like this should not be allowed to raise children because this is a this has got to be some kind of mental illness. This chick is tatted up all over. OK. She only seems to uh, want to sleep around in order to gain some type of self-worth and notoriety. You know what I'm saying? And she's not even dating any of these rappers. She's just sleeping with them. There was one guy in her own city, because she's from Colorado, at least she's from Denver, that she was pinning the child on. Then she switched it to Offset and didn't even give that particular guy 
any type of didn't even um subpoena him for any type of dna test social media maven also shared a video for her opening the envelope enthusiastically jumping up and down that she told you huh. powell said she was getting the paternity test earlier this week in a series of sense deleted tweets she wrote things like this week is going to be great the light shall appear this week. How would you know if you're telling the truth about what you're posting? Okay. And I just want to say something to you brothers. Because there's only black men who are sleeping with this, this, this girl. What do, we, what do these guys get out of dealing with somebody who everybody done dealt with? I could see if you're just living in your, your, your neighborhood. You know, uh, living in, you know. Living in the hood, basically, and you got these females who you're recycling that every other dude done been with. But when you got money, you have the means of traveling wherever you want to go. Why would you sleep with this chick? Is it because of the light skin? I have to ask you brothers that. I, I really have to ask this question. Is it because of the light skin? Because the fact that y'all are having unprotected sex with these chicks like this lets me know that there's some kind of mental illness uh with you as well that you don't recognize that this desert is an ultimate clout chaser and you got guys like dj academics who give her a platform and i see why because he makes he makes a fool of her but that's only going to embolden her to do things like this okay if this turns out to be false and fake, that she's faking these DNA test results, she needs to be held accountable. She needs to be ostracized. She needs to be kicked off of Twitter and Instagram. The worst thing that you could do to women like this is kick them off social media. Kick them, you know, say they can't have a Twitter account for like three months, like they do when they flag a channel and say you can't go live for a couple months. They should do the same thing when you get on social media and you post documentation. Okay, you post documentation that has people's real names on it. And you lie and fake it if this is true. Something needs to be done about this. This chick is trolling. This is this is real life. This ain't just you posting up memes or video. She's literally posting documentation of DNA test results that could be fake. And and that's uh, and that's basically in thanks to these these uh these female these Cardi B fans. And I will say this about Cardi B's fans. Cardi B's fans is quickly getting on. I think they're getting well past Nicki Minaj levels. They're getting close to Beyonce levels because all these females in these tweets who are trying to expose this chick, Selena Powell, for being a fake. All of these chicks, these are females. Ain't no dudes. Ain't even no dudes LOLing. All these females got all this time on their hands, okay? They got all this time on their hands. All they do is sit on social media all day watching gossip videos, okay? Going to Instagram, liking video, liking posts, commenting in comment sections, arguing and bickering with people. Y'all see them. Just go to one of these Instagram pages and these females are arguing with each other, arguing with dudes. In every post, you see them in the comment section. You know, they ain't got nothing to do all day. They're the main ones on Twitter trying to expose this female. And listen, I'm not going to be mad at her. She tried to do the same thing to Chief Keef. Uh, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, Waka Flocka had to get a restraining order. She tried the same thing with Fetty Wap. Um, this female has known to do things like this, but you do still continue to have relations with females like this. And I have to ask, you know, is there a mental illness there? Are you doing it for the light skin? I mean, we have to ask those questions because you have this thin, bad built, rough face female who you brothers are running up in when you really don't have to. Okay, we have to ask those questions. But y'all can let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. <laughs> let me get off my let me get off my pedestal for a minute. I'm not trying to be on no high horse. I'm just trying to speak facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. I'm just trying to speak facts. Let me go on to the next topic, all right? Let me go on to the next topic. Let's talk about Kanye West. Apparently, Kanye West met with 
Candace Owens. He finally met with her. So he must really like her or he, you know, this is just more publicity, you know, publicity tour for the album. He met with Candace Owens, okay? Now, y'all, Candace Owens, she goes by Red Pill Black on YouTube. She had a, she's had a very, fairly quick rise um, in the public eye. She was fairly an unknown. And about a couple months ago, maybe sometime, was it last year? She got exposed for running a website that was doxing people, okay? Now, she since said that she abandoned it, took it down, but there's a lot of people who have mistrust in her, but her star continues to grow. She continues to become bigger, you know? And, and Kanye West doing what he's doing and what Candace Owens, what, what, what it proves is that controversy is going to build you, you know? And that is why people who are controversial always get attention and always seem to grow. And both are seen as controversial, you know. Uh, Kanye builds his controversy. Candace Owens is controversy because of who and what she is. She's a black female conservative, you know. And people don't like the fact that Kanye West is walking around with MAGA hats you know, he's talking about how he, he loves and supports Donald Trump. Let me tell y'all something. Ta Kanye West is not the he is not in the minority. There's a lot of other people who support Donald Trump as well. They are the main ones who are either not saying anything or they're trying to overcompensate with their dislike of him. You know what I'm saying? Like you got a lot of these other black you know celebrities who claim to hate Trump, but they they actually were cool with him at, at one point or another. All right. Uh, let's see. According to Hot New Hip Hop, it says merely one week removed from praising the way Candace Owens thinks on Twitter, Kanye West has taken his admiration one step further. It would appear that Kanye West actually arranged a meeting with the controversial conservative mind who garnered a following through her Red Pill Black YouTube channel. Naturally, the cosign from the wet from West seemed to irk a vocal member member. A vocal number of his fan base who immediately seemed to feel like Yeezy was backsliding. While he did manage to vocalize his perspective on his latest single, Ye vs. People. Now, I didn't do a review to that, but whenever I do another live show, um, probably today, I might speak on it, right? Reference it somewhat. There are some who remain unconvinced. The watchful eye of Team Kanye Daily captured a few flicks of their meeting, which took place at the Southern California Institute of Architecture. The pair decided to keep their meeting low key, with neither one making reference on it on their respective Twitter accounts. Evidently, one has to wonder who, well, who has to wonder what manner of discourse transpired. Time will tell, but so far Kanye's return has been one. Of for the ages, as it stands, Ebro thinks little of this union. Now, this is according to Ebro. You know, speaking of a guy who thinks he's more important than he really is, um, Ebro is not that important to me. He's not that important to a lot of people. Maybe y'all who in the Northeast who listen to Hot 97 faithfully, maybe y'all think a lot of Ebro, but to me, um, he's DJ, he's DJ Envy with less. You know, family drama, okay, and you know, <laughs> less beta male tendencies, okay. But Ebro has shown himself to be a panderer. He's shown himself to be emotional, and he tries to go along, you know, just to just to to keep what base they have at Hot ninety seven. But Hot ninety seven is not that important to me, you know. I didn't grow up listening to Hot 97, you know. So people like Ebro, in his opinion, really doesn't matter. But I'm gonna read his tweet. Or what he had to say, because he's supposed to be Kanye West's friend, buddy, or whatnot. Ebro says, just FaceTimed with Kanye West and Candy Jackson. She doesn't like being called Candy. Also, she talks really fast in real life and also informed me that the again piece in MAGA is about dreams of her sharecropper grandfather. Okay, Candies. Well, Ebro, you wouldn't know nothing about sharecroppers because you're not even black, bro. You're half black. You know, you're about 50%, if less. 
So you wouldn't really know much about that. Maybe somebody in your family tree does, okay? Let's see. Not only has Kanye been chopping it up with Owens, but was recently seen watching a video from Canadian thinker Jordan Peterson. If y'all know who Jordan Peterson, he's big on the alt, he's big on the the alt right skeptic community. They reference him. They make videos about him. He makes. I think he has a YouTube page himself. Uh, you know. Let's see. Who has become the most? Uh, let's see, become one of the more popular figures in Can uh, in Canadian. Well, you could say Canadian in conservative circles. Needless to say, those completely put off by the thought of Republicans will no doubt find themselves channeling their inner T.I. who rallied against Kanye on the politically charged new single, Ye versus the People. Yet perhaps some may find themselves intrigued by Kanye's message of widespread acceptance, especially from those who are opposing viewpoints of his. I will say this. Um, we live in a country where people used to be able to have differences of opinion but they can't have those differences of opinion for what is to say now i'm not saying i'm a big kanye west fan but i'm a fan of people being able to speak their truth you know being able to have their own opinions we should be able to think differently i don't know why black people cannot find in themselves to agree to disagree you don't want people judging your life telling you who you should date you know how you should live your life that you should exercise more you know that you shouldn't be friends with certain people but you want to dictate other people's lives and i think black people have a bad have a bad um pen, they have a bad um way of trying to dictate other people's lives when their lives is messed up you know so y'all can let me know what y'all think i don't think it's that big of a deal you know you have one person who builds controversy, you have another person who, who themselves makes themselves controversial controversial. So y'all can let me know what you think about that. This next topic is the Migos. Once again. Apparently, the Migos got into it at a Las Vegas hotel. Apparently, one of the employees there um, told Quavo to move his car. Quavo, of course, didn't. So they had an exchange of words and one of the flunkies in the Migos entourage decided to punch the guy. And I guess there was a brawl. Um, I don't know if the dude just was whooping <laughs> was whooping this dude's ass. He probably was whooping his ass and the other dudes probably jumped in to save him. Or, you know, a couple of the hotel valets jumped in and they all started brawling. You know what I'm saying? But apparently they said none of the Migos were involved because they don't do their own dirty work. They have other people who fight, you know, the people they don't like for them. That's what the Migos do. They don't they don't get dirty. They don't, <laughs> they don't get their hands dirty. They have the, they have one of their 30 man entourage to go out and fight people and get and get arrested for them. You know, so this guy, this idiot goes and throws a punch and gets himself um, detained. But he was then cited and released. And they talked about how they had the swift car to be the safety. First off, if it's one against a bunch of dudes, how why are they concerned? Why are they saying they had to swift our way to to, uh, to uh, safety? So apparently, the valet must have been you know really must have been putting foot to asses in that fight, and probably a couple of other other valets out there probably jumped in. You know what I'm saying? And they were like, oh, you know what I'm saying? They had to get her out of there. I can only see why they would put that. You know what I'm saying? But again, I tell y'all, no matter how many people are in a group, if you hit one of the one, of, if you hit one, the rest will you hit one and the rest will run. So the fact that they're saying that this one guy, you know, them getting into it with this one guy got so bad that Cardi B had to be taken away by security lets me know that you ain't got a lot of tough guys in your crew. <laughs> Oh, no, I just think this thing is hilarious. Now they do have a video. Uh, the Blast.com has a video where it, the aftermath of the fight, and they see one of the Migos entourage detained. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you, Lackey, something. Y'all continue to try to act tough 
to impress people. You're only going to hurt yourself in the long run. You're only going to get yourself in trouble. Stop trying to impress people by trying to fight other people's battles. It doesn't work very well. It really doesn't. And it seemed like the Migos is having some trouble. They got pulled over in North Carolina. Okay. So it just seems like the Migos got to be careful, man. Y'all can't be out here, you know. Yes, People already have a light on you, you know. You're, you're one of the biggest... You're the biggest group in hip hop, you know, collectively. So you really have to watch yourself because people are watching you, you know. So that's all I have to say. That's it. Let me know what you're saying in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Also, make sure you look in the, 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 uh, the comment section for the links to all my social media. You can also donate to Patreon, PayPal. Uh, make sure that you check out the live streams. Um, I do most of my live streams on my Jada Black live streaming channel. So make sure that you're subscribed to that channel as well. And that's it.